Hey y'all, it's Costume Jeweler. We're at the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store in Tampa. This is the Waters Avenue location. We're looking for jewelry, purses, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on my live buy it nows as well as these daily video uploads. Subscribe to the channel and thumbs up. Huge store with lots of purses. There's gonna be purses on the back wall, purses down the center aisles. But we're gonna start right here on the walls because we don't know what we're going to find Ralph Lauren last time I was in here I left a purse behind that I came back the next day to try to find it and I did not find it so we're going to color code these This is definitely the purse superstore of Florida or any state, wherever they're located. It's red, white, and blue. Open till six, cash only. Another Ralph Lauren. What is this one here? No brand. A no brand. This looks like a teapot, short and stout. Here is my whatever and my spout. That does look like a teapot. Soul Society. Look at all these purses. Kate Spade. And I'm not sure if they put the better ones down the middle aisles where you find trinkets and things or how they do that. Sigali. Have y'all ever heard of that brand right there? Made in Uruguay. Pretty leather. I will say this though, I like both red, I like the red, white, and blue thrift stores, but this is the Waters location, and I will tell you that this is not my favorite of the two. If you want the honest truth, it is not my favorite of the two. The other location is my favorite, so Waters location is where we're at, and it is not my favorite, but still, you gotta check it out, you can't figure you're not going to find anything because you don't know is this one here this to me is kind of a crazy fun one I don't know what tags are half off today either but look at this it's kind of a greenish blue brass hardware funky funky fun Looking at the condition, a little bit of rub right there, but not a bad thing. Oh, and look at the brand. But look how that looks. So it's kind of a bluish color. Yeah, if y'all see something in the video, if I can put my hands on it, send me an email. I'll give you a price quote. Look at the bottom of it. Isn't that cool? Check out the inside. Look at the inside, see what the condition's like. Great condition, just a little bit of dust, not much. I think we're gonna get that one, that is cute. Good find there. A great find. That one caught one of my eyeballs. 
caught one of my eyeballs. The other eyeball looked at it too and agreed that that must go home with CJ. Right straight to a tub. Hopefully I'll put it up for sale. One eyeball, they work together. One eyeball just catches things out the corner. The other eyeball, if he doesn't like the purse, rolls his eyes. So both eyeballs have to agree. This is a fossil, pretty beat up, and you're getting free piano again in the background. Y'all like that in one of my other videos. Somebody always loves to play the pianos. And that's free. This video's free also. BCBG. Metallic fossil crossbody. What this, what is this? Looks like it's leather. Maybe not be leather. Who knows? No. What do y'all know about Reed? Handmade American luxury. Let's see if it's leather. It is not leather, so we're passing on that one. Got your guest purse. Faux snake skin. Another bot care. B O T K I E R. Not liking this one as much as the other one. Sheriff, Sharif. So that to me is a good brand. I'm not going to get this purse, but I think it's a great brand. In my humble opinion, it's always going to be in my humble opinion. It's this one here. I'm excited about looking on the racks, the top of the racks, because those will usually be the bigger name brand. So we look at the wall first. Is this a, you know what I'm thinking, Whiting and Davis? It's kind of similar, but it's not. And no, it is not Dolce & Gabbana. So you can see how big this story is. So lots of wares, glassware, whatnots. All kinds of stuff, but we're looking at purses first. We have time after that, Montana West. All leather usually, that's a pretty purse. I don't usually buy it to resell it, I buy it to carry it. Now you see what I'm talking about on top of the racks here. I don't know what's half off. We need to figure it out so we can decide what we're going to get, if anything. This is Halston. Ooh, look at this leather one. It's looking like a Patrician Ash. Not sure if it is or not. I'm about to find out. That's pretty, though. So look how beautiful this leather is. This is real leather. Looks like it to me. Probably a handmade. I don't care that the stitching's off. So just open compartment inside. But that's a cute rustic looking bag. So what do y'all think about this bag right here? Shoulder bag. Does look handmade. 
Because I think it's a beautiful condition. I think we're going to get it. Just got this fossil here. Good looking bag, too. This one looks like it's been taken care of. Banana Republic. Joy to. What is this? Oh, is this a B. Mikowski? It is. Look at that B. Mikowski, y'all. Beautiful leather, fold over, getting you all of your shopping therapy today free of charge, not charging you hourly at all. There's the bottom of it. It's a pretty one, isn't it? Yep, free shopping therapy, courtesy of the costume jeweler. Signature B. Mikowski. Magnetic clasp. Beautiful bag. Y'all have seen this one before, Paloma Picasso. So anytime you see that symbol right there, that's what that is. It's navy blue. A little dusty, but can be easily wiped off. It definitely looks like a newer version made in Italy. So if y'all ever find that brand, you know, if it's a good price or whatever, or you want it, pack it up for sure and just so y'all know if you're new to the channel too just because i pick something up does not always mean i'm gonna buy it really just depends let's see here this is elliot luca oh yep sorry braided bag cute bag we're not gonna get that one though well, let me show you something look at this right here this is a prize look at this y'all real horn handle I think my friend Renee Jordan had found one of these once and she actually sent me a picture of it this one right here is going home with me this is gorgeous this is a find for sure. I don't know the brand yet, but we're about to find out. But look at this handle. Now this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is one heck of a score. If you are a thrifter, this will make you shake in your shoes. Look at that gorgeous handle right there. And here is the brand. Koto Momolu. Koto Momolu. This is a first time that I've ever had this. The interior is great condition. I can't believe it. My gosh. I will try to do a short video on this one. Isn't this gorgeous, y'all? I have to give it some camera time for sure. That is one very nice bag. Excellent condition. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So not only do I like this store for the handbags, but look at this, the fur coats. Now we got these three great bags in here. Look at that, y'all. All the top racks are full. Full, full, full. Red Coach, Michael Kors. What's this one right here? What do y'all know about this brand, if anything? See if it's leather or something. I don't know. We're going to comp this at the end. I don't think I'm going to put it in my basket. I don't see a tag. There is one, I think. So look at this bag here, and y'all tell me what you know about this bag. And I'm going to show you the inside tag, too. 
Looks to be in good condition. Here's the back of it. So y'all make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get more of these. The interior looks good condition. And then here is the tag. So what do y'all know about this? So here's an Arcadia. This is another great brand. I don't like the scratches. Scratches on it, otherwise I'd probably get it. Look at this beautiful green bag here. We're gonna get a designer name on it or not. See inside. Let's see. I think I've had this brand before. Is it or not? And even if it's not, what do you think? No idea if this Louis Vuitton is real. I'm looking at the inside though, I would say not. Still interesting to see for sure. So here's a super huge hobo bag. Is it in good enough condition to buy for resale? I don't think so because the back is kind of greasy. I normally would get that if it hadn't been so dirty on the back. I thought this was a Dooney at first, but I don't think Dooney would be that beat up so easily. It's just leather. Sandra Roberts, this is pretty to me. So this is Italian leather, y'all. A burgundy wine color. Look how pretty this is. Looks to be in good condition. I like it a lot. Let's look at the inside, see what the brand is. Looks to be in good condition, what I can see without pulling out all the paper. What do y'all think about that one? That bag right there is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at the sides of it. All leather interior. Here's the brand. I think we'll pack it up. It's this big fat bag here. This is a big fat beautiful leather bag. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Have y'all heard of that brand before? If you have, comment below and let me know. Mark Jacobs. This is kind of looking like the other blue one we got. I love the style of this. Mark Jacobs, kind of a teal blue, soft leather. Here's the bottom of it and the sides. You have side pockets, gold tone hardware. She's pretty, ain't she? She's pretty. Yeah. Seeing a lot of designers on that wall back there, too. Let's see if they're looking Michael Kors. Mm -mm. Have you ever heard of Desmo? It is made in Italy. Look at this one, y'all. Look at this good looking bag. Fossil tote. Bird cage. 
great condition on the outside, no staining. Not even staining on the bottom. Look at this pretty coach. Looks like it's good condition. And of course somebody would pull the tag off of it, so that's not gonna be sellable. They're not gonna sell it. Get the tag's missing. Cavalier and Buckley, Washington, D.C. Another coach bag. Hunter Green, Michael Kors. Looks like new. Good looking bag. All leather. Basket full so far. That's this cute little wristlet wallet coach. Beautiful red. Check that one out. Be brave. This one here. Just kind of looking at them. I'm not really pulling them all out. Just kind of seeing if you see anything that you like. Or that you want to look at. That's what we're doing. Jones, New York. Genuine Leather Mundy Wallet. M-U-N-D-I. Oh, look at this cute Patricia Nash. Y'all know we love Patricia. Wristlet. Rebecca Minkoff. Pretty crossbody. Just a little bit of fading there, but the leather looks to be in good condition. Vera Bradley, sack roots wallet. I never find any men's wallets hard. I don't think I, I can't even remember a time when I did find one. Spotting a jewelry jar too. I don't ever buy the jewelry jars. So up here, look at this. Rudy. Rudy Valen. Right there in the center. Take a look at a little bit of the jewelry while we're right here. I won't show you every piece. It's only one of these. I have sold earrings that aren't a pair before. I'll show you the purses on the wall. This is behind the jewelry counter. There's a couple Louis that look interesting. Right there. This bag right there. Another one right there. But I'm really liking this one right here. Love that one. Look 
through these brooches, see if there's anything here we can't live without. <laughs> Just never know, ladies and gentlemen, never know. You gotta look at it. Look at all of it. This looks like it would be a gold fill. Ooh, that's pretty. This looks like it might be Celtic. Usually if they are, they'll be signed. Usually. Best is it or not? I don't know who that is. Thought there for a minute was best. This is appropriate. It's nearly Fourth of July. Look at the jewelry cabinets in the case. These are sterling silver. Again, we won't look at every piece, some of them. Great key. Sterling abalone shell. Remember, the abalone shell is no longer farmed that I've been told. So you should probably should pack it up if you can find it. I wonder if that's jade. Hand knotted. Look at these pearls. Sterling silver bracelet and necklace. Look at those legs. Ooh, what is this one right back here? Is that sterling? That right there in the back is gold, and they want $1,000 for it. It's actually half off today at 500 And that's either a tie tack. It's not a tie tack. It might be. I don't know. It's not a It's not a necklace. You can wear it as a necklace like that, though. It's probably something that's uh, antique. Pretty jewelry. they were real. It's like playing the lottery. Don't know. Salvatore Bergamo. This is a croc bag, y'all, and look at this. So I've sold croc bags before, but I like this right here. So this one is pretty too. It's missing. It's broken. No. 
I'm curious of the original prices. Yeah. Huh? Y'all know I like taxidermy, but look at this one. She's got eyelashes, long hair. This is pretty cool. Awesome. Very cool pieces right there. Very cool pieces. So I found those beautiful knives and that funny taxidermy. I love taxidermy. I'm looking at these watches. That taxidermy is hilarious, but it looks like it might have been painted Native American paint. That's what it looks like to me. Is this vintage? Is missing any rhinestones. It's missing one. And one in the center. Uh, uh. So, what'd y'all think about that taxidermy? I'm gonna go back and look at the whatnots and things like that. See if there's anything back there. Can't live without. Those two knives are really great. I don't know anything about them, but I'm gonna test them to see if they might be sterling silver. But I don't know. I'll never mind on the knickknacks, y'all, because the store has closed. We're gonna look real quick. Because there's a super huge line up there. Super huge line. They don't give you any forewarning of when it's gonna close. And yes, I know I've got a, I've got a. Uh, these are cool. Look at these bookends, y'all. She's missing the back, or maybe not. Maybe that's what you do right here. Look at those. Yeah, they don't give you a forewarning. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. We're not done yet, though. We're going to be done in a minute. I just want to look real quick. Make sure there's not anything I'm missing out on. We'll remember these. So don't forget that thumbs up. For the video subscribe like share comment below come to a live buy it now is this amethyst come to a live buy it now that is all amethyst but it's broken because of that reason I'm not going to buy it. it's broken right here but yeah we have those live buy it now it's usually on for Saturday and Sunday but you'll see a thumbnail if I'm having one you'll see a thumbnail up that will tell you that I'm having one. Oh, a big bin. Is this a big bin? It looks like a big bin, but it's not. We did pick up some good stuff, though. How did y'all like that chair that I bought last week at the um, auction? So y'all subscribe if you're in here new for the first time i encourage you to subscribe to my channel i'd appreciate it so much I try to have daily videos for y'all and until next video we're going to head to the front and check out we got some great stuff here and we'll see y'all in the next video bye